When Hurricane Katrina struck, hundreds of patients, some near death, were evacuated from flooded New Orleans hospitals. Left behind were their paper medical records. At the time, Dr. Robert Barish, a trauma expert and now chancellor at LSU Health Shreveport, was a member of the Maryland National Guard unit sent to Louisiana to help storm victims. Often patients are very, very sick or injured and can't even tell us uh, their medical history. And without a medical records, we have to guess. And it's a lot of detective work. And that's not what you want. In the future, emergencies during disasters will be much easier to deal with because of LSU Health System's new electronic medical records. Imagine if you're a cancer patient after Hurricane Katrina and you're displaced and another doctor is taking care of you. How would that doctor know what chemotherapy drugs you were taking? Pelican can fix that. It was five years in the making with the cost of $144 million of state and federal funds. The Pelican system provides a safer, more accurate, and efficient way to digitally store patient records while making that data accessible to caregivers of all the LSU healthcare facilities. No matter where they're from in the state, no matter what state institution they've been to in the past, when they roll into one of our ERs, we will have their information, all their x-ray reports, medications they're on, allergies, drug interactions, will all be available to the physician who is treating them at the time. And that's critical not only for disasters, but also in treating accident victims, where life and death can come down to a matter of minutes, like right here in this trauma center. LSU's 10 hospitals and 500 physician clinics expect to be completely digital by next summer, ready for whatever emergency may come next. This is Dr. Levin Oker reporting.